Pincha Mayarasana, Feathered Peacock Posture or Forearm Stand. Begin sitting back on your heels. Hinge forward and bring your forearms onto the earth. Make sure the elbows are shoulder width apart and squeezing in towards center and that the palms are pressing evenly down into the ground. Curl your toes under and lift up into Dolphin, which is the basis for our forearm stand. You can stay right here and work from this space or press the shoulder blades firmly into the back and hug the belly in and up as you lift one leg up into one leg Dolphin. Option to bend the knee, push the earth away, and push up from the bottom leg coming into forearm stand. Remember to keep pulling the belly button back towards the spine so that you don't end up in a back bend. Lift the tailbone, lift up through the legs, stack the legs over the shoulders, and when you're finished, release into child's pose. Lots of accessibility options here. If you have splaying elbows, you can bring a loop in your strap about the width of the shoulders and bring the strap above the elbows. And this is going to help you to hug the elbows in towards center. You can use a block between the hands to keep the hands the proper distance apart. So what you would do is bring the fingers onto the outer edges of the blocks with the hands pressing into the earth. You can also use the wall for support and maybe bring the block with you against the wall to help with the distance of the hands. Um, option to use a strap here as well. And then when you come into your forearm stand, you can bring the legs on the wall for support. Another option is to interlace the fingers of the hands with or without a wall. And finally, you could use a wall and hover one leg off the wall while keeping the other grounded onto the wall for support. Benefits of Pincha Mayarasana are that it strengthens the arms, shoulders, core, and back. It stretches the neck, chest, and abdomen, and it improves blood circulation. Contraindications of forearm stand shoulder, back, or neck injury, high blood pressure, and pregnancy. Pincha Mayurasana, Feathered Peacock Pose. From sitting back on your heels, hinge forward and bring your forearms onto the earth. Make sure the elbows are shoulder distance apart and squeezing in towards center, and that the palms are pressing down evenly into the ground. Curl your toes under and lift up to dolphin, which is the basis for our forearm stand. You can stay and work dolphin to really feel confident here before moving on. Think about pressing the shoulder blades firmly onto the back body and hugging the belly in and up, then adding on lift one leg up behind you and stay here in a single leg dolphin pose. Shoulders stacked over the elbows, elbows energetically hugging in towards center. If you're ready to move on, pushing the earth away, bend your bottom knee and kick up to find your balance here in your shape. Remember to keep pulling the belly button back towards the spine so that you don't end up in a back bend, and then lift the tailbone, lift up through the legs, finding that stack of legs over the shoulders, shoulders over elbows. When you're ready to release, lower down and pause in child's pose. Modifications for forearm stand. Take a strap and make a loop in the strap shoulder distance wide. Bring the strap above your elbows. So oftentimes when we begin this practice, the elbows will open out to the side when we come to balance and we really wanna keep hugging the elbows towards center. So the strap helps there. Take your arms to the ground and using a block, squeeze the thumb and forefinger around the corners of the block to glue the inner edge of the hand down. Come up to your dolphin pose and then lifting one leg up behind you, bend your bottom knee and kick up into your forearm stand. Take a moment to find your balance, squeeze the inner thighs together, reach up through the feet, pull the belly back as the frontal hip points move towards the rib cage. Keep the gaze steady just in front of the elbows and continue to lift the heads of the shoulders up away from the earth. Lower down to a child's pose when you're ready to release. Setting up at the wall. So you can take this same setup at the wall if you're not ready to balance in the middle of the room yet. You can see my hands on the side of the block here and bring the block all the way to the wall. You could use the strap here as well. Lift up into your dolphin, pulling the shoulders forward over the elbows, lifting one leg behind you, kick up and find your feet at the wall. Think about lifting the thigh bones, press up through the feet, hold and just breathe here, feeling the shape, hips stacking over the shoulders, shoulders remaining over the elbows. Focus on externally rotating your upper arm bone and hugging the elbows energetically towards center. Press the inner forearm and inner corners of the hands actively into the earth. Rest back in child's pose when you're ready to release. 
Another modification is to take your hands and interlace the fingers as if you were going to do headstand, bring the forearms onto the ground in this shape, then lifting up into your dolphin pose. This is very common in vinyasa style classes to see people in dolphin with the interlace of the hands. From dolphin, kicking up to the wall, find your balance. You'll really need to focus on pushing into the bottom of your hands, sending the weight forward to keep the stack here. And you could play with pulling one leg and then the other off the wall. You might also feel that the elbows splay open a little bit more in this version. So hug the elbows actively together. Maybe you find a little bit of float and come to a child's pose to release. Finally, you can practice the full posture at the wall with the palms flat on the earth. So hinging forward, bring your fingers about six inches or so away from the wall, lifting into dolphin, bring one leg up behind you, pull the belly in and up, bending your bottom knee, kick up and find the wall, and then really actively press the forearms and the palms down into the ground, spin the biceps forward and see if you can float and hover one leg up off the wall. Pause and stay until you're ready to bring that foot back and try the other side, actively reaching up through the ball of the foot. And then you might also work on pulling both legs off the wall to find some balance here, knowing that the wall is always there to support you if you need it. Finding the stack of the legs over the shoulders, think about supporting the shoulder blades on the back body as you spin the biceps forward and roll down through the forearms. Release to a child's pose when you're ready to let go.